today on Washington TV. The continuing unrest in Iran following the announcement of the election results. Overnight attack on Tehran University dormitory. Khamenei told Musavi, keep calm and graceful. Ahmadinejad, the atmosphere of freedom in Iran is near absolute. Joseph Biden expressed real doubts about the staging of the election in Iran. France and Germany summoned Iranian ambassadors. The protests of Iranians around the world to the result of the presidential election. And IAEA chief expressed hope that Iran would react positively to Obama's offer of talks. These stories and more today on Washington TV. Today in Washington. Following the announcement of the victory of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad in the 10th round of presidential elections in Iran and the unrest that has followed it, U.S. officials expressed their doubts and concerns about the situation. U.S. Vice President Joseph Biden, in an interview with NBC yesterday, felt, quote, real doubts surrounding the staging of the election. Biden said, quote, there's an awful lot of questions about how this election was run. It sure looks like the way they are suppressing speech, that they're suppressing crowds, the way in which people are being treated, that there are some real doubts about that. Biden added that taking into consideration that over 70 percent of the ballots in Iran are cast in metropolitan areas, it, quote, seems unlikely that Ahmadinejad has won over 60 percent of the votes. He explained, quote, we are waiting to see. We don't have enough facts to make a firm judgment. He concluded by saying that notwithstanding the, quote, contested election results, the U.S. will continue to pursue talks with Iran because the interests of the U.S. remain, quote, the same as before the election as after the election. The U.S. will continue to try to persuade Iran to, quote, cease from seeking a nuclear weapon and to, quote, stop supporting terror, Biden said, adding that talks with Iran, quote, are not a reward for good behavior. Earlier, the U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton reacted to agency reports of Ahmadinejad's victory by saying, quote, we hope that the outcome reflects the genuine will and desire of the Iranian people. At the same time, Robert Gibbs, White House spokesperson, said, quote, like the rest of the world, we are impressed by the vigorous debate and enthusiasm this election generated, particularly among young Iranians. But he added, quote, we continue to monitor the entire situation closely, including reports of irregularities. Today's top stories. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said today, quote, the position of me and the United Nations is that the genuine will of the Iranian people should be fully respected. He added, I have to watch the situation, how it evolves. European Union Foreign Policy Chief Javier Solano also said today that he was, quote, concerned by the latest images and news that arrived from Tehran. I hope very much that at the end of the day, the will of the people will be respected. He added that although there was little expectation of change in Iran's nuclear policy as a result of the election, the EU was still hoping to continue discussion on the issue. British Foreign Secretary David Miliband also said today, quote, the very serious doubts that have been raised about the free and fair nature of the election counting process are obviously of major concern to many people in Iran. He added, quote, I think that in the very short term, people will continue to focus on what seems to be state violence against its own people in Tehran and elsewhere. On Sunday night, German Foreign Minister Frank Walter Steinmeier said that, quote, the actions of the Iranian security forces were completely unacceptable. And he called on Iran to look into the allegations of irregularities of the election, quote, immediately and without delay. Today, Steinmeier summoned Iran's ambassador to Berlin, protesting at the crackdown against the protesters. France's foreign ministry spokesman, Eric Chevalier, said yesterday that Iran's ambassador to France was summoned in view of the situation in Iran. Quote, we hope that the ambassador will bring explanations regarding the events in Iran and will listen to our concerns, Le Figaro newspaper quoted Chevalier as saying in a released statement. The statement continued, quote, while the campaign showed the vitality of democratic debate and the mobilization of the Iranian civil society, France equally condemned the brutal repression of the peaceful protests and the repeated attacks on press liberty, expression and communication. 
At the same time, Israel's defense minister, Ehud Barak, said, quote, I'm not sure if the results reflect the real will of the Iranian people. Adding, quote, the triumph of the extremists is bad news, as any kind of victory of extremists should be defined. Also on Sunday, the Dutch foreign minister, Maxine Varagin, said in a statement, quote, the legitimacy of the election has been undermined by reports of fraud during the poll and vote counting. Iranians have been protesting the disputed re-election victory of Iran's President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad in many cities around the world, from Los Angeles to New York, Dubai, The Hague, and Kuala Lumpur, where according to AFP, the police fired tear gas at protesters. A crowd of around 200 protesters also gathered outside the Iranian embassy in London, while singing nationalist and early revolution songs, such as Oh Iran and My Elementary School Comrade. They also chanted slogans such as These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.